Maris Collins and his Ropu of background actors get together once a month to provide food for the less fortunate. So today we're here feeding the needy of the streets. Not only the needy of the streets, but people who are are in financial difficulties, like they may have apartments or you know rent to pay, etc., and they can't have food like their uh, kai. So this is something just to help them along. This initiative is called Kai for the Streets. It's run by a group of us. We're not a charity. We're just a bunch of uh, actors, extras coming together, you know, pulling out of our own pocket, putia, and um, doing up some Kai for the Streets. Ready to come. Not only do they afi with putia, but Maris and his Ropu give up their time. Heavenly Father, we thank you as we um, feed our needy, our whānau on the streets for providing uh, not only us with the courage to come out here today, we've taken a lot of um, time to come here out of our busy schedules. As we um, feed our needy, we ask yourself to watch over them as they leave today. Amen. 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 Everybody just lines up, comes along, grab what they need, and um, away they go, they're all happy. Everybody contributing today had come out of their own pocket, from the aroha, from their heart. Just all about the love. Want some lollies, boo? So where does all this kai come from? One of the Ropu members, Gina Coleman, invited me to see the mahi behind the kaupapa. So we feed the um, homeless who live on the streets in Auckland City. I love doing it because it's about giving and also to see the joy in their faces when they receive a cookie from Amakura. I'm a planner, so I put things aside and yeah, it just happens. You know, if it's something you like doing, it, yeah, we can make it happen. So I, I don't look at the money side, I, I look at the, the pleasure of giving. Well, I like to make pretty packaging when we give the cookies out. And just seeing the, the light on their faces is like, wow. <laughs> just for that day, if we can make their life happy for that one day, that's cool. And because I've done it before and you see the joy in their faces. And, and I like the afternoon or evening because at least you know they're going to have a nice sleep on a full tummy. Is that how you do it? Yeah. Yeah, put it here. <laughs> we do it harder. I met Maris through filming and it's like oh wow here yeah let's go because <laughs> I care everyone has a different reason for wanting to give back Thank you. Jay has traveled from Kiri Kiri Roa all I've just come down to um, help out the uh, brother MJ just to uh, come down and help serve some uh, food for the for the Auckland community the homeless here and um, yeah just to pretty much give back the bro's just got a big heart like that and he doesn't mind doing that mm. Back in the day, I was, um, I was a bit of a street kid, so um, yeah, I'm uh, pretty experienced in uh, the way of the, the homeless. It's not a nice place to be, eh? And uh, I think they appreciate um, all the help they can get, and yeah, they're very... Uh, they're still, uh, you know, people like us at the end of the day. It's um, pretty sad they're um, in the situation they're in, but um, yeah, we're just here to help and get back. So what's the whakaaro behind the kaupapa for Maris? Why is because I've been in this predicament before. Maris shows his partner Tawera where he used to sleep. I used to have a tent up in Pānau near the Rose Garden, so I was homeless for a while. I didn't used to beg or anything, but um, you know, this is why. You know, my experience, and I know what they're going through as well. When I was homeless, this was my ground where I used to sleep. Had a tent, everything, tarpaulin, all the sides blocked off so no light, no people can see me. And um, yeah, this was my home for so many months. I didn't know where to go. I was an alcoholic. Um, and me and my partner, Tawara, we, we split up for a while. I could have went back to Kaitai, but I just want to be by myself, you know. I was all for me, myself, and I until I got myself back to normal. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sad times when you're by yourself. Where, where I was brought up, um, we had no power. We used to have a long drop, and our um, source of food is at our front door. Um, we used to get our water from the hills. So I've learned off that. My grandmother taught me a lot of things. I picked this place because the safety, quietness, it's in a good neighborhood, you know. 
Nobody, nobody would suspect I'm here. You know, the whare paku was my main water source. My phone used to charge over there on that little silver box. So, you know, I had power, I had water, you know, um, for my washing, I was to go to the laundromat. So, yeah, I was like living like I would in a normal house, but in a different way. From living on the streets to giving on the streets, Maris Collins is living proof change is possible. He ara anō. I feel great. You know, I feel like a whole different man. You know, I feel like I wasn't that person in my, my previous life. And um, um, it's like, okay, my grandfather, I bloody enjoy that. And, you know, I've got a loving partner. She's really supportive. She gets my A into G and keeps me on the narrow. Um, and I've got lovely, lovely friends around, you know, um, in the film and TV industry. And they're supportive, as you, as you would have seen. Um, and also my, my, my whānau, they're, they're the biggest um, uh, reason that I can still tell the story.